I'm going to take a look at a neat little automatic 22 short. It's made by Beretta. The advantage of a little pistol like this one, aside from the fact that it's going to fit very easily in a pocket, uh, is for somebody who may have arthritis or doesn't have the uh, arm strength or the shoulder strength to pull the slide back without taking the hammer back. First, let's check this one out. Let me see that we're empty. Uh, with the hammer down, takes quite a bit of work to get that slide back. Actually, quite a bit of work. So, uh, one of the advantages of a little one like this one is that the magazine can be loaded, inserted, and then you push this lever forward, the barrel pops up, you add a round to the barrel there, and now you've got your full magazine, one in the chamber, but you never had to rack the slide. It's a single action, so as you draw it from your pocket, you cock the hammer and pull the trigger. But because it's a rim fire, we wouldn't want to dry fire this one. So I'm going to let the hammer go down slowly. So a neat little Beretta, 22 short, Minx, and it's the model 950. But you can tell from the title and from here, it's a 22 Minx M2. This is the style box they would have come in back in the day. Beretta logo, you can see it's not the best quality, it's got some tape there. First there's a the little pistol. Underneath the cardboard cutout, we've got the the old manual. So let's take a look at that. So we got the manual there, and then underneath the manual, it looks like we've got a parts list. So this is both for the jet fire and this little Minx, which is 22 short. A little exploded view. That's pretty cool. Oh look, a slide cost 12 bucks. I suspect these prices might be a little out of date. Oh, cool, here's the thing about how to disassemble it and reassemble it. Go ahead and close that up. Take a quick look through the manual. It's a caliber 635 or 22 short. It's the 950B. Huh, that picture seems to be actual size. That's kind of cool. Really wanted to see if there was a, a date in here. Pretty small manual. Looks like we got the field stripping instructions. Another exploded parts list. Looks like it's only about 16 pages altogether. Oh, look, there was a long barrel version for target practice. So this stuff is definitely worth keeping on an older firearm like this one. And even with some repairs, it's still worth more than, or it makes the value of the pistol worth a lot more than it would be without anything. And it's the model 950. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.